Welcome to how to create your first XML via Publisher Report using PS Query. If you are a functional consultant, a data report designer, or an end user with experience using PeopleSoft, and you're trying to learn this reporting tool, you have come to the right place. So without further ado, let us get started. These are the various parts that we're going to cover throughout the series of these videos. We're going to start with part one, covering the basics. A really great feature via Publisher is that the data extraction logic is separate from the presentation layer. Basically, the RTF template is the presentation layer. You can use formatting features readily available in MS Word to design your report. Query is just one of the data sources supported by XML Publisher and probably the easiest to build a report. We will focus on using PS Query as our data source for BI Publisher reporting. A prerequisite to using XMLP is to know how to use Query. Before we dive in, first thing you want to do is download the necessary Microsoft plugin for the builder. Template Builder is an extension to Microsoft Word that simplifies the development of RTF templates. Step one, access the Design Helper page. This page enables users to download a plugin for Word to facilitate offline RTF template design. There are two versions available, 32-bit and 64-bit. Select the version that applies from the list to enable the download button. The plugin is downloaded as a zip file that should be run to install the plugin. In the setup section, you will find that multiple directories will be created. They include documentation, samples, and tutorials. Make sure to check this out. The program is also added to the start menu under C Program Files, Oracle, BI Publisher, BI Publisher Desktop. Try clicking in Template Builder for Word, double click in Demos. That was the config file. So double clicking here and opening up Template Builder Demo. What you're seeing is a presentation demonstrating an example of a report. Let's move on to creating a data source. As I've already mentioned in part one of this BI Publisher beginner series, XML Publisher visibly separates the data extraction logic from the data presentation. Data extraction is handled by the data source. In this tutorial, we will be using a PS query as the source of data for our report. XML Publisher also supports connected queries and XML files as data sources. Now we will quickly look at a query that I already created. It's basic, it fetches a few fields from the class and meeting pattern tables, and I have limited the data to all classes given in a particular term. The SQL or SQL underlying query is given right here. On running this query, you get the following output. Remember, you create your own query by navigating to Query Manager, and then you use this query as your own BI Publisher data source. And now that we've created the query, it's time to register it. To register a data source, you will need to navigate to Reporting Tools, BI Publisher, Data Source, and then click on Add New Value. From this list of data source types, you will choose PS Query. For the data source ID, you will enter the name of the query that you created in a previous step. So just type it in, click on the magnifying glass, make sure you select the appropriate query, and then click on Add. Next, enter a description for this data source followed by a selection of the owner ID from the drop-down menu. And as soon as you do that, you can go ahead and you generate the sample data file and the schema. You 
you can open up the file, the XML file that is, and if you want, you can save it to your desktop or another place on your computer. So you can use this inside your RTF later for when you want to test your report with this specific data. Don't forget to save. Next, we will cover the creation of the template.